Abidakum Allah, Zakum Allah Khairan. Tayyib, the questioner says, the next question, last question. I am a revered sister and my mother is a non-Muslim. She's an open enemy to Islam and actively calls me to disobedience and disbelief. Alhamdulillah, I do not live in her house and I am married. Whenever I visit her, she tries to make me drink alcohol and encourage me to divorce my husband. Can I avoid her and boycott her? Or will I be sinful for doing so due to the great importance that Islam puts to the obedience to the parents, even though they are not Muslim? Barakallahu fikum. Again, Allah Azza wa make your affair easy and make the affair of the Muslims easy in every place. Then Alhamdulillah, for this, again, Allah Azza wa subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, brothers and sisters, what to do in the, in the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, we have examples in the lives of the companions in how to deal with these type of situations. For example, in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jalla tells us, in jahadaka, if your parents, your father and your mother, they try and compel you, to associate partners with me, that which you have no knowledge concerning, do not obey them in this. Do not obey them in committing shirk. It's not allowed. Do not obey them if it involves disobedience to Allah. But Allah said what? وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا But associate them with them in this world with respect, with good manners. And you have a beautiful example, brothers and sisters, in the hadith in Sahih Muslim. Because this question in the West, it comes up a lot. And when I um, translated uh, the book, The Rights of the Parents, into English, which is a very beneficial book, at the end of it, I added an appendix and I gave stories because obviously the book is being translated for uh, uh, Muslims who have grown up in Western lands. It's translated into English. And many of those Muslims may have parents who are not Muslims. So a pertinent question is what? How do we deal with our parents who are not Muslims? Like, for example, the question that is being asked today. And I mentioned the story in there of Abu Huraira, radiallahu an, that we find in Sahih Muslim, a beautiful story that Abu Huraira, he recounted and he mentioned that his mother, that he used to invite his mother to Islam. And at that time, she was a mushrika. She was a polytheist. He said, and I invited her on one occasion. Abu Huraira said, فَأَسْمَعَتْنِي فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أَكْرَى And she said something about the Messenger of Allah صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ that I detested, I didn't like. So... Abu Huraira radiallahu anhi said he started to cry. He went to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he started, he was crying. So the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him why he was crying and he explained that he invited his mother to Islam and she refused. And on this particular day, I invited her and she said something about you that I disliked. He didn't mention exactly what it was. He concealed it. He said, but I disliked it. So the, Abu Huraira, look, subhanAllah, he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Fad'u'llah an yahdiya umma Abi Huraira. Messenger of Allah, supplicate to Allah that Allah guides the mother of Abu Huraira. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Allah mahdi umma Abi Huraira. Oh Allah, guide the mother of Abu Huraira. So Abu Huraira radiallahu an. He said, Fakharaj to, I left and I was happy. He was pleased that the Prophet ﷺ supplicated for his mother. So when he came back to his mother, now look, his mother made upset him when she said something about the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu he said that he returned to his mother, and when his mother heard him approaching, she told him, you know, stay, stay in your place, oh Abu Huraira, don't come in. And Abu Huraira said he could hear the water. He could hear water, the flow of water. And the mother, she, she bathed and she put her on her clothing. And she said to Abu Huraira, when she came in his presence, and this is a summary of the hadith, she said, I testify that none has the right to be worshipped in truth except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, the hadith. So look, subhanAllah, even though Abu Huraira's mother said something about the Prophet وسلم, that he did not like. Abu Huraira, he still maintained ties with his mother to invite her to Islam. Yes, we do, we, we do not agree with that. We do not accept that. 
However, still keep an open relationship. Do not obey them in evil. Obviously, try and dictate your surroundings. If you find that it's, you know, it's uncomfortable going to certain places because of the environment, then alhamdulillah, you have your home. There are other places where alhamdulillah and other opportunities and surroundings that you can choose and select. But do not cut off your parents. You know, be patient, alhamdulillah, in accompanying them in that which is lawful. May Allah Azza wa Jal make it easy for the questioner and make it easy for the Muslims. And I'll stop there. Wa subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.